Write a note on the narrative technique of fasting feasting by Anita Desai. Marks 10-12 Answer Anita Desai dedicates her novel Fasting Feasting to all those whose stories I have told. We can infer from this statement that Desai wants to clothe her story with an air of realism. Notwithstanding the authorial statement, Fasting Feasting is everyone's story cutting across the borders of class and culture. The narration is in the third person, the first part presented through Uma's eyes, every situation delineated through Uma's viewpoint. But in spite of this, it is the authorial voice who is presenting the situation of a hundred such Umas through a study of the character and situation of her heroine. Many critics call this novel disturbing. We may agree to this view because the novel does rattle our conscience and we are left with the unnerving question as to the treatment of the girl-child or the status of women in most societies. Across the globe. The novel starts in the present tense but suddenly goes back to the past tense. Both the tenses are used side by side with wonderful effectiveness. Desai's style in the novel is fluid, efficiently describing in detail each landscape and each lifestyle. It is the voice of the omniscient narrator which succeeds in presenting the two contrasting cultures in all their differences. With subtle humor and wit, Desai has been able to delve deep into her characters' minds. There is a syndeton in the omniscient narration. The repeated use of the word, they, to describe Mama Papa catches the reader's eye. The conversation is staccato, in keeping with the unreal situation of Mama Papa. Desai uses mostly third-person narrative interspersed with dialogues or direct narration while describing Mama. The narration is more detailed, more kaleidoscopic when describing Papa at his dominating best. While describing Uma, the mood of the narration becomes gloomy, heavy, perhaps to keep in tune to her oppressed life. The choice of anecdotes and incidents are apt enough. The incidents from Papa's past are essential to reinforce the thematic growth. For example, the description of the vegetarian ways of his forefathers which he has abandoned for a non-vegetarian life succeeds in portraying his preoccupation with making something different of his life. The narration takes on an Indian flavor with Indian terms thrown in when describing the character of Miramasi and the rituals followed on the river bank. The imagery becomes poetic when describing the imaginative and magical world of Uma. The language takes on delightful hues. Next moment, the narration takes on a harsh realistic note. The reality intrudes into her imagination and her reverie is broken by the insistent shouts of Mama outside the door. In part two of the novel, the narration becomes appropriately descriptive of a nation that has a history of the wilderness behind it. The mechanical perfection of the American way of life is stressed upon. The language used is effective in reflecting the economic prosperity of this nation. The narration becomes chirpy and effusive when describing Mrs. Patton and her pattering ways. She is born to shop and this is what she exactly proceeds to do. She keeps on stocking food in her refrigerator and does not seem to mind food being wasted. The land of opulence is aptly described and the two cultures stand starkly contrasted at every point. Mr. Patton's similarity with Papa is brought forth by the same terse kind of narration used in his case. Later on, Mrs. Patton's interest in traditional medicines, such as yoga and astrology, serves as a reminder of the East meets West syndrome and disillusionment with the fast life of the Americans with its many ills, illuminated by what happens to her daughter. Desai leaves the novel open-ended. The assimilation of the two cultures or the acceptance of the one by the other is hinted at in the last scene when Mrs. Patton accepts Arun's gifts. But Arun's withdrawal or rejection of his home still stands. Either way, the fear of annihilation of his personality still assails him, 
and that is why he moves away quietly from it all. Finished. Please subscribe to the channel for more updates of ready-made notes on English literature. Also, please share this channel to help any student pursue a degree in English literature. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and comment.